Good morning, it's Bob Massey. It's Facebook Live. It's Tuesday. I hope everybody had a safe Labor Day weekend. Needless to say, it's hard to believe how fast the year goes. We're into the last quarter of the year almost. So I'm going to cover a lot of different issues. And one of the things, of course, that the hurricane issues brought up is insurance and the types of insurance we should have. And really, do we understand insurance? Do we understand what we buy? Do we read the policies that we get? And the answer is no, including me. And my, my oldest son is in the insurance business. So I just wanna go over a couple things that I think is very important. First of all, let's talk about flood insurance. We know there's another hurricane coming potentially up into the Miami area at the end of this week. Uh, and there's even some talk about some other things happening in Florida. But let's talk about flood insurance. What you need to know, and you probably have heard, is that flood insurance is not covered under your insurance policy. Now, let me be very specific about this. The flood insurance we're talking about is from natural disasters like we are viewing right now. For example, if your pipe breaks in your house and, and, and there's damage, well then, if there's a flood, your insurance most likely would cover it. But here's what I want you to do for yourself, please. And tell your insurance agents Bob sent you. I want you to pull out your homeowner's policy and I want you to take a look at it and look at the exclusionary part of the policy. That is the language that excludes certain things that is not covered under your insurance policy. If you don't understand it, and most of us don't, and believe me, I'm a lawyer and I fought these people for the last 37 years of my life. You need to get to your insurance agent and have them clarify what does this mean? What does it mean about wear and tear? What does it mean about maintenance? What does it mean about this is not covered or that's not covered? Because the only time we take the time to read it is when something happens in our house. We live in a, a monsoon area in the desert. We've seen a lot of rain this year and there's been damages to homes. What happens if the roof caves in? Does your insurance policy cover it? Understand the language in your policy because most of us don't. And so you'll see these devastated people down in Florida, down in Florida and of course in Houston, that literally their life's never gonna be the same as a result. Uh, I've covered it on Fox News quite a bit. This, how FEMA works and these disaster funds that are available, most of them are low interest, loans that people have to pay back. So those of you who have friends and family members, God forbid, that were affected, they're gonna be faced with issues, mortgage payments, utility bills, uh, homeowners association dues, car payments. Remember now, your car insurance most likely will cover uh, loss because it's a comprehensive which covers, you know, fires and theft and damage like this. Those of you who have family members and friends, they're trying to even get back into a home if it exists. Most of these homes are gonna be what we call tear down homes, meaning that they gotta start from scratch. So now you get into all these different complicated issues. Mortgage payments have to be made. We'll see how benevolent the lenders are gonna be during this tragedy that these men and women of America and children are faced with. Uh, needless to say, be very careful if you decide to donate money to those who are victims that you donate to places that are credible and not scams. We've seen that, which is poor commentary on mankind. Uh, the other thing I want to mention, there is a, uh, I think what we need to be careful of when we come into this season now, usually September, October, November, December, I'm going to talk about several types of scams that seem to repeat themselves every year. And I want you to know what these scams are. Uh, I want you to look for our newsletter. Amy, who works with me, we're gonna be writing some newsletter articles about common scams that come in this time of the year. It seems to be the right time when people really get ripped off. We're gonna be talking about senior citizen scams that's continuing to happen and exploitation of telephone, telemarketing calls, things like that. So I wanna alert you to these things. So I, I ask you to Go to our website, MasseyMassey.com, kind of law we practice, of course, is personal injury and real estate and business and wills and trusts. I do a lot of legal consultations. We do online consultations. People could email and, uh, and we charge for that or you could come and see me or my son, Robert. But, but I have, for the last 
30 some years of my life, try to be informative to help people. And for that, I've been very blessed and I thank you for that because the more information we have, hopefully it prevents us from making mistakes, but we're human, so we make mistakes. Pull out your insurance policy today, including your car insurance. We're gonna do some stuff, uh, maybe even this week, I don't know if I get a chance to do this week, but maybe next week I'm gonna cover disability insurance. If you have disability insurance at work, if you have disability, personal disability insurance, really explaining how it works, what the insurance company's rights are. And I'm gonna talk about long-term care soon, about the expense of it, and should we have it us as baby boomers, uh, about long-term care, what it covers, what it doesn't cover. It is an expensive proposition. So I wanna cover these type of areas uh, in the next few weeks, uh, hopefully to be able to help you. Again, subscribe to our newsletter. We try to be informative, give you information. Our office number is 702-870-1100. Send and share some of these things with your friends and family members. And I may see you this week again. If not, I'll definitely see you next Monday. Have a good week.